Hi, gang. There was a comment on my last video asking why when you open a new file in Illustrator, all of your brushes, symbols, and swatches that you created are gone. So I thought that would make a great video. Before we get started, please give this video a like and let's get to it. So what happens when you have your file open and you've created all these lovely symbols? Okay, shameless plug, these are on my Etsy shop. And I close the file. I open up a new file to draw something else that requires one of those symbols. And I go to my symbols panel in the new file and I discover that they are not there. And that is because Illustrator works differently than Photoshop when it comes to brushes and symbols. In Illustrator, they don't save with the program, they save with the file. So if you close the file they were in, now they're gone. But all hope is not lost. It is really easy to find them again. Let's say I need those symbols. All I need to do is open up the symbols panel in the file that I'm in. Click on the library icon in the lower left-hand corner and scroll all the way down to Other Library. When you click on that, it'll allow you to navigate to the file on your computer that has the symbols, brushes, or swatches you're looking for. In this case, it's my bows and sashes file. I'll open it up and it opens all the symbols that are attached to that particular file, so now I have access to them. Let's look at another example. I've got a pair of jeans here, and I've got all these great symbols, but I want to fill these with color. If I go to my swatches panel, I discover that I do not have any denim swatches, but I know I've got them in another file. Well, I'll click on the library button, scroll down to other library, navigate to where I have my denim swatches file, click open, and there they are. I can either click on an individual swatch to use it. So in this case, what if I select my jeans and say, apply this denim swatch? And you'll notice now that I've used the swatch, it has put it in my swatches panel. If I wanna get other swatches in the panel, all I need to do is click on the individual swatches and they will appear in my panel also on my jeans because I still had them selected. If I want to get all of these swatches in the panel, then what I'm going to do is select the first one, hold my shift key, select the last one, and then I can drag the entire group into my swatches file. Now, the reason that my pockets and belt loops didn't change color is because I made symbols out of them. If we go to my symbols file, you will see there they are, symbols. But that's okay because this gives me a really easy way to change the color on these too. If you double click on an existing symbol, you can go ahead and edit it. So in this case, I will select my pocket, I will apply the denim to it, and then double click to exit the editing mode and you can see it added the color to my symbol and every instance of my symbol in the file now has that same fill. I can do the same with brushes. If I need a particular brush that's not in this file, I can go to my library icon, scroll down to other library and find the file that I'm looking for. In this case, I think I have some cool trims in this one. So let's open it up. And now I've got this set of brushes that I made. And yes, this is the one. I knew I had this kind of cool embroidered trim here. Let's draw a path and we'll just put some embroidery down the leg of the jeans. Let's shift C to grab the anchor point tool, give it a little curve so it follows the line of the jeans. And let's add these little yellow flowers. Now, as you can see, the scale of this brush is not right for the jeans, so we need to adjust it. You cannot adjust it over here. If you double click, nothing happens because remember, these aren't actually part of this file. These are the ones that we brought in. This brush, though, because I dragged it on the page, is now part of the file and it's in the brushes palette that belongs to this file. So in order to edit it, I need to double click on this one. It'll open the brushes window and we can go ahead and adjust the size until we get this to a scale that works better for this garment. 
and that's a little small. Let's do about there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK and apply to strokes. And I'm going to grab my white arrow and move this over just a little bit because it feels like it's going off the edge of the leg. Terrific. And now we've got our cute little embroidery on our jeans. So now when I save this file, it's going to save it with this brush and all of the denim swatches I added. So the next time I open the file, I will have access to those. But if I decide I want any of these other elements, I'll have to do the same thing in order to bring them in. Find the panel that I want to work with, click on the library button, other library, and navigate to where the file is. I hope you learned something new. If so, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time to do it. If there's anything you'd like me to do in the next video, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.